You know, we all come to this from a different place. Some in this room are researchers. Some are donors and advocates. Some are the doctors and nurses who treat patients. Some, as we saw, are patients themselves. And some, like me, are family members, caregivers. But however we come to the issue of brain tumors, we are all, we must all be in this together. And that's why I wanted to be here today. From the day my husband was diagnosed with his brain tumor, it wasn't just his brain tumor. It was our brain tumor. And that's always how I described it. It was our brain tumor. In every single way, it was a joint journey. And that's the story I want to tell you this morning, the story of our brain tumor. And I hope you agree with me that it is not a sad story. It's a story of hope and happiness, of love and laughter and outstanding medicine and optimism. But first, I want to say I know how blessed we were. I know that we had health insurance. We had financial resources. We had financial job security. We had access to the best medical minds, including Mitch Berger, to help us. We had family around us, and maybe most of all, we had each other. You know, we used to say all the time, thank God we love each other, but even more, thank God we like each other. <laughs> because we spent so much time together and wanted to spend that time together. I never take all of those advantages for granted. But it's no exaggeration when I say that spending those 15 months with my husband, those last 15 months of his life, that was the greatest gift of my life. It was the greatest privilege of my life. Now, don't get me wrong. No one wishes for a diagnosis of a glioblastoma. But once I knew that was the hand we were dealt, I would have chosen to live life exactly in every single way, the way we lived it. And so that's the journey I want to tell you about. 